Alright, well, I've been busy trying to start loading stuff onto my first Windows 10 computer, the old Dell GX620 right there. Um, yeah, my buddy that uh, helped me out, he said it would not take a 64-bit version because of the limitations on the board and processor and all that, so we got 32-bit on here. And I went ahead and started loading drivers for my scanner. Scanners that I use are the 7400 One Touch from Visioneer and the Lexmark Z715 series. These have been bulletproof for me. Like, uh, you know, when I had uh, um, XP and then shifted to 7, actually the scanners, I didn't have the 7400 series, I had the 7300. So I had to scrap those and replace them with the 7400 because they were the only flatbed that Visioneer offered um, with a driver for Vista. And that driver carried over to Windows 7. So same with the Lexmark, it had a Vista driver and then of course they have not made either of these in years. They've been discontinued, you know, long ago. But I still use them because they still make ink cartridges and all that. But I can't seem to get them to work on Windows 10, and that's been my biggest fear whenever I'm forced to upgrade operating systems. I have to scrap, you know, working, good working hardware because Windows doesn't support it anymore. Um, talked to my brother, he's an IT guru, and uh, he thinks that uh, they may not work at all. You know, that's just Windows 10 is so far you know, ahead of these, and the drivers may not carry over from Vista to Windows 10 and that's my biggest fear. I've got nine of these, you know, these scanners. Actually, I've got this one here is another one, 9520 that I use. And then there's, I think, the 9420 um, that my wife uses. So, you know, all those have, uh, you know, Vista drivers and they work good on Windows 7, but haven't tried using, you know, one of the big bulkier ones on Windows 10 yet, but um, I wanted to at least try the more common ones because most of my office setups use the 7400 series, but all of them use the Z715 Lexmark. So, I'll go ahead and fire this up and I'll show you the issues I've been running across so maybe you guys can help me or have some idea to figure out how to make these work. Alright, we'll let it boot up here. All right, so I went ahead and set it up on a tripod so maybe you can see a little better what I'm dealing with. But uh, I've already added at the bottom, which you can't see now, but there it is, the Windows Fax and Scan icon. That's what I use in Windows 7 for my, you know, scanner for scanning documents that we need. You know, we use a flatbed scanner for that. And, uh, yeah, so right off the bat, you know, when I click New Scan, could not complete scan and from what I was told it's a communication issue um, I don't know why but I mean it sees it you know if I go to the device manager let me pull that up here under settings uh, devices yeah well it sees it as a 7600 I don't know why you know the drivers are similar I guess but, uh, yeah, all it wants, you know, gives me the option for is to remove device. And don't want to do that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. But, let's see. USB is on. Yeah, let me go back to uh, device manager. And that, I've been doing, giving myself a crash course in... Windows 10 here, so control panel under Windows, uh, and let's see, device manager here, okay, so I got an issue with AMD card as well, I still haven't messed with that, imaging devices, Visioneer 7400, so it sees it, um, you know, I've tried update driver, doesn't do anything, yeah, scan for hardware changes, properties, device is working properly. Well, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, you know, try to update the driver, search automatically, and it's determined it's up to date. So, pfft. all right. So I'm kind of at a standstill with that one. 
And uh, let's see, printers. Yep, sees the Lexmark Z700 series just fine. Um, device is working properly. Well, no, it's not because let's go back to. Um, tell you what, let me go back, minimize all this. Okay. All right, the scanner. So, yeah, could not open document for viewing, can't even open it. So, yeah, that's great. So let me just go right to the folder under Documents and Scan Documents. All right, so there's the picture. Open it up in Paint, no problem. Try to print it. You know, it's got two printers. I, I switched ports thinking maybe that was the issue, but this is the actual, you know, printer that's in the right port. Click print. Communication not available. So, printer cannot communicate with the computer. <laughs> Make sure it's turned on. Well, yes, it's turned on. Look, you can tell. So... Yep, yeah, because I already printed a test page. I did that with uh, Lexmark. That's a funny thing, because I call them for tech support. And, uh, you know, they say, well, you know, this is a pretty old com you know, computer. We don't even have it listed in our archives. And chances are, you know, it may, it may still work if it worked in 7. But in order for us to try it out or to troubleshoot it, we need to charge you $119. And apparently this would be good for two computers. Well, pfft. I got nine total to go through, and I told them, you know, basically to pound sand, you know, because I asked them, well, if I pay this $119, will this guarantee me that these, this issue gets fixed? Well, no. <laughs> so why would I pay $119? I could just go out and buy another, you know, printer, probably a few printers for that price. So, and that's my biggest fear right now is that my old you know, Visioneer 7400 and other Visioneer scanners along with my Lexmark Z715 printers may be forced to be retired or replaced with newer models and that's going to cost me a fortune because, you know, like I've got here in my office one, two, three, four, uh, five. Yeah, I've got five here at home. I've got two in Charlotte and then I've got others as spares you know, in case one goes down. So, you know, I've got, I really, you know, the counting, actually my, my friend's got two more computers, so, yeah, I've got about eight or nine for sure that I know are going to be upgraded to Windows 10, and i got to have working scanners, you know, flatbed scanners and uh, printers, and I can't use those all-in-ones because sometimes these documents we have to scan, you know, like a passport or a birth certificate, you know, sometimes these guys, the birth certificates are torn and tattered, and you can't send them through one of those roller style scanners um, you know to get a scan it needs to be a flatbed you know like a copier you know top that lifts up put the document face down and the lid on top of it to press it down to get a good scan um, you know and then the printer something that's inexpensive something you know personal or you know for a small small business uh, individual desk environment so it has its own printer its own scanner not something on a network um, so, yep, that's my dilemma. Um, you know, suggestions or help would, you know, be beneficial. I'd like to try to save what I got. That's my priority one until I'm basically, you know, run into the, you know, ultimate reality that, yeah, I, have, I don't have a choice. I have to upgrade these, and then I start, I need to start putting money aside for replacing printers and scanners one by one by one. You know, and that's going to take a while because <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this, you know, right away. And Windows 7 is still good for at least another couple years as far as I know. So I've got time, but that may slow things down for the Windows 10 upgrade, trying to get it for free, you know, meeting that deadline by July 29 of 2016. So if I miss that deadline, then, yeah, I'll be paying for, you know, operating system, you know, as well. And that's not... You know, again, small business like mine, I you know can't keep forking out that kind of money for, you know, equipment and operating system activation keys. So, let me know what you think. Let me know if you got any ideas. Um, 
you know, again, the scanners I use are Visioneer 7400, 9420, and 9520, and uh, um, it might be 9450. Uh, I have to double check on that. I'll put it in the description if I'm off on the SKU number there. But uh, yeah, those are the three scanners that were the only ones Visioneer made that had Vista drivers that I've been able to use in my small business. And uh, then again, the Lexmark Z715 is the only model printer that I've used, um, you know, for each desk setup because I've got ink cartridges, you know, I buy them in bulk, so I have plenty on hand for all my printers. Um, and I'll have to buy multiple, you know, model numbers or manufacturer, you know, cartridges, you know, to fit certain printers. It's just, you know, one black combo and one you know color combo of cartridges that will work in all these printers so yeah let me know if you can help me out on this because I am stumped and at a loss as to how to proceed <laughs> so anyway hope you can help me and thanks for watching